Um, uh, Sean Livingston. What did he have? He had um, 20 points off the bench. Shooting 80% from the field. 8 of 10. Like... Those are the type. Those are the type of role bench players you're gonna need to step up if you wanna get far in this in the, this final series. Um, and the, the, there were other players that stepped up big time. Um, where we lean out about Barbosa, 11 points off the bench. Um, shooting five of five, 100% from the, from the field, made all his shots. Now what you see here is Draymond Green has the ball at the top of the three-point line. Now what he's going to do is give it to Harrison Barnes. Now Draymond Green is setting the screen because he thinks Curry is going to go around. But what he does is trick Iman Chumper and now Stephen Curry is running, attempting to run down the lane for an open pass for a layup. Now Iman Chumper has to say to himself, oh i got to get back on Steph Curry. But little does he know a switch was supposed to occur where Iman was supposed to take his new man, Draymond Green. Now you've got two people guarding Curry under the basket, and now you've got an open man in Draymond Green. And you know how that's going to end up. Easy three, because Iman Shumpert did not switch on the correct man. Three pointer. Um, it was just uh, the starters being Curry and Clay. Um, especially, they um, did not produce much tonight with um, only Curry scoring, what did Curry score? Ele just 11 points as, as a starter, shooting 26% from the field, uh, it's not good enough. Um, and also Clay, also shooting 9 points and shooting 33% from the field. But I guess Game 1 showed the true identity of Golden State, showing that they they play as a whole team. By that I mean, look at Clay and Curry how they weren't able to perform today. But the team still chipped in. The 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 bench players still chipped in. Chipped in. Um, like even Andre Iguodala playing some solid defense on LeBron. Um, it was just uh, it was good to watch. It was just that's what that's the Golden State Warriors basketball we should be watching. It's it was really fun to watch. On the other hand, um, the Cleveland Cavaliers, um, it was quite disappointing. The expectations were very high from my perspective for Cleveland to win going into this by two. Sadly, only from my perspective, one player showed up and that was LeBron James. 23 points, 9 rebounds, 12 rebounds, sorry, and 9 assists. Um, I feel LeBron, I, th I feel that that game... When I was watching that game, it was kind of a deja vu of what I was watching in last year's finals. LeBron try trying to carry the team, in which he did, but he just couldn't get him over the line. And it really disappoints me that Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving, even J.R. Smith could not step up. J.R. Smith only, um, only made three points in his 36 minutes of game time. That's just not acceptable in the NBA finals. Um, so he's going to need to step up big time in the... Like game two, um, Kevin Love played played good, played good. Um, seventeen bo seventeen uh, points, two assists, thirteen rebounds, while shooting forty one percent from the field. All right, I got to give it to him. He played pretty good, him and LeBron. But the problem with me, I feel even though Kyrie Irving scored twenty six points, he was qu quite in inconsistent at times, with also shooting thirty one percent from the field. Um, he took too many shot attempts, if you ask me, shooting 22 shots and only making 7 of them. Um, I feel going into next game, they've got to, game 2, they've got to work on their ball movement and adapt to this Golden State Warriors team, which is, um, just stopping them at every end of the floor. He, just, even LeBron, just driving into the lane, get, getting stripped by Clay, Iguodala, just... It's got to be stopped, to be honest. Okay, so now on this play, you've got Andre Iguodala at the top of the three-point line, handling the ball. So now you've got Stephen Curry running around. Now at this point, Iman Trumper is supposed to switch on Draymond Green, where LeBron James takes care of Stephen Curry, as he might take the open three-pointer. 
But what happens here is a miscommunication and both don't switch. LeBron stays on Draymond where he's supposed to wait for Iman to switch on Draymond and he switches on Curry. But the miscommunication causes an easy basket by Golden State Warriors. So there you go. Im Iman stays on Curry when he was supposed to switch on Draymond. LeBron stays on Curry thinking that Iman was going to switch. Draymond stays open under the basket. Easy score. But overall, the Cleveland Cavaliers need to improve big time, and I know I, I know they will. They'll come out they'll come out strong um, second game as generally what most teams usually do. They come out strong in the next game if they've um, underperformed in the first. Um, I expect. Um, Golden State to also come out strong, but I feel Cavaliers should be too strong in the end. Um, it's just um, uh, LeBron James. You're not going to think LeBron James, the best player in the world, is going to lose two games in a row in the final series. It's just not who LeBron James is. I know LeBron James. He's going to go talk, talk it over with his teammates. He's going to look at the tape, see where they need to improve, and they're going to come out strong for game two. Um... With that being said, my predictions for game two is Cavs winning it by seven. And I'm still sticking with my prediction, Cavs in six. Thanks for that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment your predictions also and what you thought of the game. Thanks for that.